barbecue community. It's gonna be a long video. I want y'all to really get this. I hope this be one of my classics because I really want to get this across all nationalities. Just, just try to cover majority of everything. And when I finish this video and put the title up, I want you to look the title up. I'm going to have a subtitle that's about me and describe who I, you know, who I am for real. But once y'all finish with this video, y'all know what I represent. seems like it's attack on the black male it's attack on all human beings God created you see we have an entity that been down here since the beginning of the time and it's trying to destroy the whole human race racism is something that was conjured up and, and, and man, manufactured Picking, you know, putting pitting people against each other, different nationalities and colors and creeds. That was something manufactured. See, you got to understand, this is not hocus pocus. This is not horror show. This is reality. We have certain demons that's been here and they trap here, and certain people got ancient texts that we don't know about. And nine times out of ten, they are conjuring them demons up, and it's always a price for them. And they doing their bidding. Yeah, they're getting the koodles out of it, but they own lock, stock, and bond to that entity. See, I told you, this is not no, this is not going to be one of my other videos where I'm, where I'm, you know, just just playing around with it. This is this is serious right here. I've been seeing the news, the onslaught attack against Bill Cosby, uh, Michael Brown, Ray Rice, uh, what's it, Eric Garner, and some, I think something happened in Cleveland, Ohio, a youngster got shot or some uh, breaking news, public announcement, but that's going to go on because you got to realize there's certain individuals out here that just don't want the black race around no more. They feel that we have done our deed for them and they want us out of here. But they're sadly mistaken because we ain't going nowhere. I'm not a racist. Because I don't believe in that. Because I know that's manufactured. But you got sick people out here that believe in that. And those are people that's causing havoc. All white people ain't evil. They're not all evil. Those the one. It's, it's just like us. All black people ain't thugs like me. I'm not a thug. I'm a revolutionary. Two different things. Thug, revolutionary, two different things. I'm not a gangster. I don't claim to be one. I'm just like any man. You mess with me, I mess with you. You hit me, I hit you. You spit at me, I'm going to spit in your face or whatever. That's my nature. That's a man's nature. Bear with me because I'm, in, I'm embarking on a, on a long journey video. And I hope all praises to the man upstairs bring this out nice as possible I'm working on a cam I ratchet that's the way it's gonna have to be I just want y'all to get the message that's what I want y'all to get now getting back to what I was talking about I'm gonna move around a little bit so bear with me you know I'm gonna do public announcements up in here like a public announcement to all my Rastafarian brothers down in Jamaica you know I've been growing my dreads for a, 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 for a while, I'm glad they're growing. It's a spiritual thing. People just, you know, again, that's a spiritual thing. Do you know what kind of work it takes to put in having dreadlocks? It takes a lot of work. It's a journey. 
and I'm free forming it. No women ain't do it. I done it myself. And I'm letting it go. So just, get, just you know, y'all brothers and sisters pray for me. My islanders pray for me, cause it takes strength to get on here. You know, the devil was trying to prevent me from getting on here, talking to y'all on YouTube. He didn't want this video to come out. This is why y'all must, after I finish this video, y'all must send it to everybody possible so they can get it. Because this really goes out to the youngins. Now, brothers of all colors, that's game banging. You're being set up. That's called population control. Game banging ain't never solved nothing. Just more graveyards. And depopulating every nationality that's in game banging. While you shoot each other up, the ones the ones you don't see, they get paid off your death. They're snatching your organs, giving it to rich people. It's all a give and take game. You're being set up. And it's short lived, man. I ain't seen no long careers in the drug game. Never did. Lost a lot of buddies. Lost a lot of friends. You can't beat the streets. In the end, the streets will beat you. Remember that. Now, uh, like I said, this this journey, I'm barking on a long YouTube video. The women. It's time to get serious, women. Your body is not just a sexual vessel for men just to jump up and down on you and bust it and, 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 uh, and uh, put their secretions of liquid on you. We are being demonized. The, the, again, it goes back to those demons, and they and they and they running rapid now, and they destroying a lot of families, a lot of households. People coming out here don't know they got things. They got things within them. You know, stress is even two. It's even a couple things about stress. You ain't living right. That's one. Or the people you involve with. That's number two. Or your environment. That's number three. You gotta cut it off like an umbilical cord. You got to cut those things off, or you, or your life will be in turmoil, and your life will be in ultimate stress. get my meditation and, and my wordplay out through my videos you got to pray you got to pray every day you don't own yourself people God owns you God will own everything around you all you is is living a godly test if you live in a godly test like I say if you get off the beaten path excuse me if you get off the beaten path of life that's when the devil and his uh, crew gonna step in and destroy you, and bring you down, mess your life up, mess your household up, the kids be all going crazy, because you let them in your house, you let the spirits infest you, y'all might say this man on YouTube going crazy, no, go to the other uh, 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 people on YouTube, go to the Hebrew Israelites, they talking the same thing. They may be talking in a more in-depth way, but they t everything is similarity. Go to the ones that's telling the truth. I don't got time for the the the, uh, uh, the Showtime at Apollo stuff. I don't got time for that. You know, comedy sometimes is good in its place, but not all the time. Cause it's not a funny matter. Cause people out here are getting their rights violated and people getting killed literally for nothing. And it's going to keep on happening. It's going to keep on happening. 
unless we go back to the old text and start reading the books and start and start uh doing things the right way see that's half the problem we're not doing things the right way we ain't fasting we ain't praying we are not uh, respecting the commandments of the Lord we are not following his teachings so look at this marinate on this study this if you don't do that if you don't do that things in your life will not be good I am 100% a testimony testimony to people on this YouTube community I'm telling you from my life experience when you walk off that path and walk that crooked path don't expect nothing good to happen to you I have lost a lot yes I have and I gained a lot but stay on the right path because it's a time you get tired of beating your head against the wall and sometimes you beat it until you bust it open and die many of that you wasted your time on earth and that's a sad thing you didn't pass the test that's a sad thing I'm not going to sugarcoat this people that's why I'm trying to get this out to you you know I try, I'm trying to keep it clean you know I'm a hood preacher that's what I am I'm a hood preacher and that's how it's going to be but anyway Follow the righteous way. I don't care if you keep falling. Stay on that path. If your relationship ain't going right, maybe you need to consider finding someone to make your relationship go right. Maybe you can consider doing different things in your life instead of doing the same thing. Maybe you should consider moving out your area if you ain't happy. First of all, that's another thing. That's another thing I got to interject in this video. If you're not happy. If you're not happy. If you are not happy with your life. Yeah, I'm moving around. Don't really worry about that. Listen to the words. Listen to the words. That's all I want y'all to listen to. Listen to what I'm talking about. If you're not happy with your life. Maybe you can need to consider leaving the place you at maybe you could, you got to change your lifestyle you always wonder why men get locked up and, and then they get into a solitude and a meditation state everything is caged in they consolidate they can't get out they consolidate they can't you know they can't get out consolidate it they feel like they're mentally castrated then here it comes then the redemption comes then the pain comes then the awakening comes then they start to study they start to seek counsel they start to read the light bulb in their mind wake up it used to be they get their GEDs and college degrees almost in the jails they stop that because that's the enemy they, they, they was rehabilitating themselves through their own mind. Don't tell me about the human mind. It's like I'm out here now. It's like I'm speaking this stuff forth to y'all now. This doesn't, this doesn't just come from nowhere. The most high is real. I'm going to share a little something. When I was young, real young, I used to couldn't read that good. I used to stutter on my words. Teacher gave me a cat in a hat book, Dr. Seuss book. Whoever figured, I kept reading that. Then I read, then I kept on reading nature books. Then I kept, then it got better and better. I just kept on doing it. Repetitions, repetitions. This one I'm telling y'all young folks. Study. Read. Yeah. Little Jojo, little Jamal, little Hussein go out there and do their thing. Smoke the look. Look, man. That's, that's short lived. They poke fun at you because you, because you doing your thing. But I'm telling you, by doing your thing the right way, it's going to pay off, Slim. It's like y'all women, same thing. We want y'all get out there, you little young girls. Want y'all get out, peer pressure, get y'all out there wearing your little fish nets, showing your little booties. Then y'all end up getting pregnant at a young age, and your life is cut short because you ain't finished high school. It's just, it, it's an old scenario. 
Seek wise counsel. Seek wise counsel. Listen to this video. Listen to this video. Listen to it. Marinate it. Get it in your mind. That's why I want when someone, hey, whoever sees this, pass it on to the youth because they need to look at this. They need they need to learn from a, a soldier that been out here 39 years. When you get a certain age, it's not a game no more. Remember that. Dudes you didn't drink with. I'm talking to the fellas now. Dudes you didn't smoke with. Come gone at an early age. Gone. Because the wrong decisions. Because they fell off the path. Same thing with y'all women. It's not a joke when you up in the front row. It's not a joke when you cry over a deceased body up in a wooden in a marble brass box. It's not a game. Because you can be in there. And if you keep going the way Satan goes, eventually you will be in there. This thing is not orchestrated by man. It's orchestrated by the Most High and his adversary. Come on. Good and evil. Good and evil, folks. That's, that's why you see this going on in the black community. That's why you see Ferguson going up. That's why you see New York going up. That's why you see Cleveland going up. That's why you see the DMV going up. Because it is real. Meaning that it has always been biblical. Meaning that it's always been spiritual. Don't let no one tell you different. You can't separate the two. There's no separation. God gave us brains to think. If he ain't want us to think, he wouldn't have gave us a brain. If he, wanted, if, if, if he ain't want us to speak on YouTube like I'm speaking on YouTube, he wouldn't have gave me this knowledge to even spit game to you over, these, over this information highway. We take too much for granted. And we leave them out too much. That's why he leaving us out. And that's why we're suffering. Because we are not following the laws and the oaths that he promised us. But when you do, your life get more better. That's why I'm out here preaching this to you. Look at the title. Look at the title when y'all hit me up on YouTube. Leave your messages, leave your whatever you want to say below, your comments. This serious, this is a serious thing right here, folks. <laughs> Man, I can go on and on about this. Man, y'all ain't got some, y'all ain't got some knowledge here. Y'all ain't got a gem here. See, see, I've been looking at all this for a while. And people keep on leaving the most important thing out. Religion. Deolo you know, theology. It all codes inside. It all codes inside what's going on now. It all comes together. You cannot run away. People wonder why stuff happened out of ordinary. I think it's just, no, no. That's the Most High. That's God. That's Jehovah. He has many names. The Grand Architect of the Universe. Glory of glories. Kings of kings. That's the man. For real. We need to respect that. Or we're going to keep getting disrespected. If we keep on respecting this fool down here. Running with his crew. Destroying us. God made man in his image, not Lucifer, not the devil, or whoever he posed to be. And y'all been blessed today. And I've been blessed. I think I didn't even cuss. If I did, I ain't remember it. I try to keep this real clean. All among AKA Hood Preacher signing off. I'm gonna let it ride out. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Whoever see this passing on to the young people, especially the young men, because the young men need it because we 
Here again, the young black men will keep on dying. And I hate to see that as an older man. Still living. They supposed to outlive me. And it's sad as a lot of old men outliving young boys. Having made their mark. Because, man, I'm telling you, man. Like I said, that's it. I hope y'all get it. Pass it on. They need to be passed on. This is a very important video. Leave your comments below, aka Hood Preacher, all on my. I'm gonna I'm gonna let it ride out. I'm gonna let it ride out. I'm done. Let it ride out.